What's up everybody, Drake here from Drake's Rod Shop. Today we're going to be starting the Corvette engine swap 1966 Chevy C10. This thing's pretty badass, so stick around to hear it run. Alright, so we got a bunch of stuff here to get the red truck running. We got the hood open, and we have the hose that I was talking about that goes to from the engine to the uh, heater box. We got this uh, wrap to wrap the wire in, so this can go from the... Uh, the wire that goes to the uh, fuel pump to the truck so that's protected we got some wire so we can run to the um radiator to a switch so we can cut the radiator on and have that working we got some hose clamps for the hose we put on yesterday and the hose we're going to be putting on today and we got some of these uh just for whatever we need them for starting fluid and coolant so let's get to work here yeah like that so we got the hose on the engine now. We're cutting it right there. That's the way to cut hoses. Yep. Save that in case we need it for something else. Yeah, we probably will need it for right. something else. Yep. That'll work on another truck. Yeah. Right. Putting a clamp on it, putting it on. So there we go. We got two hoses on now. We just got to tighten the clamps down. Put the clamp on the other one. Tighten those down, so we're gonna do that right now. It's right here, that's gonna be vacuum. Yeah, so that's yeah. airports right there. We'll just get rubber boots to plug yeah. those off. We're gonna plug those off later. Can we buy a sport? And we have the hoses hooked up. We gotta get another clamp on there in a second, but we're gonna pour some radiator fluid up in here. 50-50 <coughs> pre-mix. 50-50 pre-mix. Two gallons, we yeah. I have to add some uh, dechlorinated water, yeah. Never put chlorinated water in the radiator, it'll turn it into a battery. Yep, so if y'all don't know, never put chlorinated water in your radiator, it'll mess it up. All right, so the top clamp is tightened, and we turned it a little bit just so it looks a little bit better. Another hose clamp. Now we're gonna do the other one, so we're right. tightening the clamps right now on this. All right, radiators topped off. I got this too. Is this would this work? Mm -hmm. oh, we ain't even touching the touching the uh, you want to put it in. Wow, that thing's holding some water. Yeah, that's for sure. Five again. Yeah, that would uh, Look be under the truck. Make sure none of it's leaking out. Uh, I don't see anything leaking out right now at the moment, so that's a good sign. That block's empty, so it'll probably take. Oh, yeah. This is a big radiator. Yeah. I probably should have bought some gallon of water. We don't have no chlorinated water, so. Yeah. We got well water. Yeah, but it's irony, so I don't know if I want to yeah. use that either. Right, right. All right, oh. so we figured out it wasn't coming out of the heater coil. It was coming out of this right here, an overflow. All right, so he's putting some air in the tires right now so we can <coughs> roll it out of the carport. Alright, so we're going to go get a battery in the computer so we can do a test fire on it. <coughs> Alright, the battery's in. Yeah. Alright, it's plugged up. Alright, we got the computer and he's hooking it up right now. Alright, so we got the hoses mocked up and we got that hose plugged off that was leaking coolant out of it. All right, so he's gonna go with 18 gauge wire for the fan. It's pulling a lot of amperage. It's pulling a lot of amperage, he that said. Pull. Uh, so right now we're gonna be working on hooking the radiator up, and that's what we're doing right now. So we'll get that taken care of. All right, so we got the radiator hooked up. We got all the hoses hooked up, and the 
fans working on the radiator and we just cut it on and tested it and the radiator is working good all the wires are hooked up and if you come in the truck right here you can see we got a little switch just hanging there for now to cut the fan on so the radiator is working all right so right now we're under the truck uh trying to get this drain plug off the gas tank so we can empty the bad gas out of the gas tank it was emptied all right so we got the plug off and it looks you like nothing's in the tank yeah i'll we get you one it and see if it's got any good Oh, well, it did have stuff in it. It was just plugged up, so we got it unplugged, and it's draining right now. All right, so I'm putting some good gas up in there right now. And right now, we're figuring out, or my dad's figuring out uh, how to hook up this fuel pump, so he's going to be hooking up this fuel pump right now. And when that gets done, I'll let y'all know. All right, so my dad cleaned up the wires a little bit, put some zip ties on them just so they're better looking better and in a better position That's it. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop it a like and hit that subscribe button if you're new. This truck sounds so fucking badass. And uh, I guess that's, well, that's where I will end the video. We're out and working all day. So catch y'all on the next one. Peace.